Hi again, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Today we're going to try and answer um, some of the questions that we get about high vision dome cameras. It's all about camera choice and that's what we get asked, you know, which camera should we use? Um, because there's so many of them and, and I could argue quite successfully that there's, there's actually too many models on the market. But... Hikvision is a big manufacturer. It has a pretty decent market share here in the UK. And we all prefer, uh, I think you'll agree, uh, a dome camera, vandal proof dome camera, as opposed to a bullet camera. Of course, the bullet cameras are the ones that uh, come away from the buildings, pretty self explanatory. So let's go through some of these cameras, what they do and what they don't do, and specifically what not to buy. I'll give you all the information, but tell you what we don't recommend. So two cameras here on the right hand side are both miniature domes and these are a mid-size dome on the left hand side. Now these two mini domes are very similar in size, they look very similar as well, I think you'll agree, but there are differences. Um, they both have a HD lens, so excellent quality. The lens is uh, a 2.8 millimeter, which is a super wide in this industry, equivalent to about 102 to 104 degrees. They are both of a metal construction, which is fantastic. That's what we like. Hence the name Vandal Proof. Um, I know the, the actual glass on the front can take quite a, a wallop before it breaks, but there are two differences between these cameras, which is a really big thing. This one on the right hand side has a microphone on the front bezel, um, what we call AOC, audio over coax. This one on the left hand side does not have a microphone, so there's no audio option on this. And this camera is a POC, which is power over coax. So, what's the main difference? Well, easy. That has an audio option so you can actually uh, listen to what's going on as well as just see it. This one doesn't, but because it's POC, it's plug and play and it all goes down one cable, making it extremely neat and cost effective. Now then, this camera here on the right hand side, which is audio over coax. I'll just bring the connections up so you can see them. The usual BNC connector for your video, your female 5.5mm jack plug for your power, and there's a little switch here, which you can unscrew. It's got a little waterproof washing on the end to keep it dry. And you can switch this camera because it's a four in one. You can switch it to CVBS, which is the old analog. You'll remember it from the TVL uh, scheme, um, TV lines. It will also do analog HD, uh, TVI HD, which are both very popular in the UK and CVI HD, which is very popular in the States. I'm not a big fan of the CVI. I tend to think it looks a little bit grey to me, but there you go. So a lovely miniature dome, analog over coax. I suppose it's worth mentioning with saying that instead of it having a separate lead for the audio, the video cable here, which I've just shown you, the BNC connector, the video and the audio go down that. And of course, that's compatible with the new DVRs. This is a POC compatible camera. It's a TVI HD. So again, it'll work with the vast majority of DVRs in the UK. Has the uh, video BNC connector and still has the female 5.5mm jack plug for the power. So you can use this on an old system. You know, your RG59 cable plug the video in and plug the power in and it will work. But because it's audio over coax, you can get rid of that, tape it up, so it's nice and waterproof out of the way. And POC means the video and the power come down the one cable, which is fantastic. Plug and play, uh, very neat and cost effect effective. Certainly one of my favorites. Um, I absolutely love the things. Um, we sell vast amounts of these two cameras. Uh, at the moment, the uh, microphone, the AOC camera, 
is outselling the POC, not by a great deal, but it is by a little bit. Um, but of course, there is a height vision colour view camera coming that is POC compatible as well. So that might just tip the scales the other way. Of course, height vision being as big as they are, there is new equipment coming through constantly. So both excellent cameras, mini domes and vandal proof. Now for this video, it is worth stressing that they both have these little retaining screws on the front of them because you cannot call a dome camera a vandal proof camera without having these screws on. They're little retaining screws. So I'll just do it on this camera here. If I get a screwdriver, just undo that a little bit. When this camera's on the wall, I can move it to wherever I want it to be. Tighten this screw back down. These two have both got little Phillips screws on them. Tighten that down. And that becomes solid and cannot be moved. And that is what a vandal proof dome camera should do. So both excellent cameras. Worth mentioning they both got the same night vision in it. I don't know if I said it earlier on. They both have 30 meters of night vision infrared. So brilliant. We definitely recommend those two without a doubt. Now then, the two medium sized domes here on the left hand side. And this is where our issues start. So this camera here is a 2.8 millimeter, which is exactly the same lens as that we've got in the POC and the AOC uh, camera with the microphone. It doesn't have a microphone in it. It's not POC. The only difference is it's got a slightly bigger infrared light for night vision, and this is rated for 40 meters, whereas these are rated to 30. The one to the left hand side is uh, obviously a bigger dome, and that's because this is a zoom camera. It can zoom from the 2.8 millimeters that these have down to 12 millimeters, so excellent for your uh, gardens if you want to zoom down to the bottom. Uh, whether you've got a driveway at the top of the yard and you can't quite see it and of course the new AccuSense DVRs have face detection on one channel down coax this is the POC as well of course I forgot to mention that so that's a good way to cheat the five meters maximum distance by actually zooming in so of course the DVR does not know that it's not five meters away and it is uh, made out of metal like these two, and has a retaining screw, which is important. Now, I'll jump back to this one. I've left this specifically to last. That is a rubbish camera. I'm sorry. I like height vision, but I can't get on with this. The reason for that is they're all metal. That's plastic. And even worse, and this is the biggest no-no of them all, these three cameras all have the retaining screws that you can tighten down to make them secure. This one clearly doesn't have one. Not only is it made out of plastic, are you ready for this? Because you're not going to like it. I can move that with my little finger. They're no good. I'm sorry. Um, if you ask Hike Vision about it, they always say, oh, well, it's made out of plastic. Um, it'll never rust. I suppose you could, you could argue that. Uh, I'm pretty successfully too. But what is that all about? So, that's a no-no. We do not like that camera, and we certainly don't recommend it. These three, yes. I'll talk about this one a bit more in a second, but let's just focus on that. Now, when we go out to burglaries, which unfortunately we have to do because we work in the securities industry, one of the things that we get asked is, how comes our bullet cameras, and that's the cameras that stick out, of course, are pointing up in the air you know how have they done that without a step ladder or a set of ladders and i always say to people have you left your clothes prop outside the thing that you put under your washing line to put it up in the air because 90 plus percent of the people leave them outside are you one of those let's face it if you think now is your clothes prop in the back garden well that's what they use they come round to the back of your house let's pretend this is a clothes prop and they push it underneath and lift it up into the air. But not only can they do that with the bullet cameras, because they tend to have a little hood 
over the top of the lens so they can literally stick it in there and push it up. But we can also do it with these because look, rubbish. Uh, as we're driving around, installing and obviously doing service calls and uh, quotes and whatever have you, um, we see a lot of these. And I'm not sure who's installing them all, but it's not us. I'm going to get into a lot of trouble for saying this, but if we don't do an honest video, then what's the point in doing one? Hike Vision won't like it because we're slagging one of their cameras off. And the installers who are putting these things in will dislike it because we're telling you the uh, pitfalls of these cameras and why not to have one. If you've had these put in recently, there is a good case to phone the installer back and just say, take them out and put one of these up for us, please. Because we're, we're, we're just not interested in that. Um, in fact, we're so uninterested in this particular camera. I don't know if you can see in the corner there. It's actually scratched and it's quite mucky. Why? We don't stock these cameras because we think they're so poor. And this is a camera that we uh, took off a building and it was replaced by one of these uh, just before these turned into POC cameras. Um, obviously, this could have gone up as well because it'll do non-POC. It was replaced with that and the customer was happy because that's secure and that is not. So that's not even a new camera that's just cleaned up. This camera, metal, retaining screw. It can focus down. That's why this um, case is a little bit bigger because, of course, you can imagine the lens moving backwards and forwards. You've all seen it on motorised cameras, this sort of thing we have round our neck when we go on holiday. And uh, with it being autofocus, you can press the button on the DVR or on your uh, mobile phone. If you've got it networked, it will focus into wherever you want it to go and it will autofocus instantly for you so it's nice and clear. And this is also a TVI HD camera. It's not got a microphone in yet, but it is exactly the same as this one in respect that it can also be used on the old systems, but if you want to get rid of the power, like that, the video power can go down that one cable because they are both POC compatible. Again, one of our biggest favourites is POC. Um, the new um, Height Vision Colour View uh, POC camera, so for this, is coming out shortly. I believe it's out. I think it arrives on the twenty. Was it the twenty fourth or twenty fifth of this month? So they're apparently in the post and on their way over to the UK. And the reason why I mentioned the colour view is this is also the case and uh, bezel and dome for the height vision colour view, which is, of course, instead of having night vision, it has a white light on the front, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, so that um, it lights up white and stays in colour 24 hours a day. Now... Again, we don't stop them because of that. Absolutely no good to us at all. That can be just pushed up into the air. Um, so we don't stop the colour view in the hike vision. But for a little bit of food for thought, because we want this to be a fair video, because we don't use this, we thought we'd show you the camera that we do use, which is the S-Pro and that's called a night colour. So that's a high vision colour view. And this is an S-Pro night colour. They do exactly the same thing. They've just got a different name on them. So imagine if this was the colour view. And you've all seen the videos on them. We've done a video on this camera. So please have a look at it. Again, our issue is that you can't lock it down. So it's not really much good to us. There's the white light on the front. So that lights up on a night, it's not night vision like these. That white light comes on, and of course it's got a very low lux reading, so that it doesn't the lens doesn't need a lot of light, and it keeps it in 24 hour colour vision. This camera has a 2.8 millimeter lens, which is again 102 to 104 degrees, identical to that, that, and that, because they're all fixed, and so is that one. Remember that's the zoom. So it's got an identical lens in it. Um, it also has the retaining screw there. And I said this has one. They're a little starkey. They're just normal Phillips. So that starkey 
and this one are the same. Obviously they come with an Allen key, this is a proper tool of course, because it's in our industry. But just to show you, that will undo. And in the colour view camera, uh, sorry, night colour, that will uh, fix that one as well. So, excellent. It's got exactly the same connections on it as the AOC, which is audio over coax. So again, both got a BNC connector, both got a female 5.5 jack plug, and both have the little four-way switch, so you can uh, have them in standard analog, TVI, AHD, or CVI. This one has a, um, uh, a little sticker on it, and shows you how to use the switch in there. And of course, again, it's got a little waterproof uh, washer in the top, so excellent. Nice camera. Like this AOC camera, it does have a microphone built into it, but I will say that if you use this camera on the Hike Vision DVR, there is no audio option because the audio on this is not compatible like that one would be. So if you want the S Pro night colour camera, you must buy the S Pro DVR. And it is worth mentioning that even though this is audio over coax as well, like that one for the Hike Vision, if you want the audio to work on the little switch I said you could have analog AHD CVI HD or TVI HD make sure it's it's on its uh, manufacturer settings like it was when it came from the factory CVI HD because the microphone will only work on the S Pro DVR if it's switched in CVI so there you go that's another camera to add it's not helping you, of course, because I'm giving you more options. But, you know, this is the camera that we use. The S-Pro Night Colour instead of the Height Vision Colour View. Because that case is simply unacceptable. You know, we wouldn't tell you to phone your installer up and tell them to take it out if we didn't think it was rubbish. And we do. So there you go. Four Height Vision cameras and an S-Pro Night Colour. And the one that we don't recommend is that. We would recommend that, 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 and that. So there you go. Um, if you need any more help on um, camera choice, obviously, you know you know where we are. You've emailed us plenty and sent us plenty of messages. But I would say to you, just have a think about what you want from your CCTV system. Because we have so many different cameras available to us and so many different DVRs, we can usually make it fit. So, of course, if you said to me, I want a night vision camera that's got a bit of audio on it, so I've got, uh, I can listen, I'd say go for that one. If you said, I want a zoom camera uh, that's got a decent uh, night vision on it, because um, I want to be able to look down my garden, I'd say that one. And if you want a day standard mini dome, something that will go onto a POC system again, something that's nice and neat, because it's one cable in, one cable out, I'd say that. But at no time would I recommend that one. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to get into trouble. But hey, ho, that's what we do. We give an honest, honest opinion of what we have and what's on the marketplace. So that's another quick video from uh, me, Paul, here at CCTV Systems UK. If we get any more messages or emails, I'll try and put another video on uh, next weekend for you. It's Sunday today. Just bear in mind, it tends to have to be on weekends. We are, of course, running a business and we are CCTV installers. And through the week, we can do anything from half a dozen to a dozen CCTV systems per day across our branches. So time is limited through the week, but I do try and do these videos on a weekend for you. So other than that, all I have to say is enjoy the rest of your weekend. Not shining on the camera a bit. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And we'll get another video on for you soon. We'll do some stuff on PTZs for you as well. Other than that, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll speak to you again soon. This is Paul logging off at CCTV UK. Ta-da now.